me as this song sound quite a lot like it could be a Pixies song. Today we are going to a place called Fat Shack. Sounds like my kind of eatery. Uh, the obnoxious sound of an American muscle car. Music to no one's ears. Here we go, Fat Shack. Right, I haven't found any pictures of the actual food, but one person has managed to do it so far, and not that long ago actually, 4th of September. Let's get inside. I like the slogan, late night done right. Always fun to rhyme. It's like one of Mrs. Beer's park jobs are. I, uh, I messaged on, uh, I think it was Instagram, about doing your uh, fat challenge. Oh, is it called that? Something like that. Fat challenge, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I'm that guy. I love the collection of t-shirts they got going on. Hopefully you get one of these. Oh my goodness. They've only got Bob Ross on TV. I'm a huge fan of Bob Ross. People think it's weird, but I actually find it quite therapeutic. Plus he's got an amazing fro, look at that. See it poking out the side there. He's doing some happy little trees right now, I think. Seemingly, he's also featured on the travel channel. That one was on Man Vs. Food. It says all challengers must be willing to have their picture placed on our legends or weak sauce wall. I guess that's just their snazzy way of saying wall of shame. Some kind of tufts protruding from my hat here. Wow. Oh, that's a lot of sandwich. I've got to say, it does look delicious. Look at that, they look more like wraps than sandwiches. 30 minutes, I don't know, they're pretty hefty. We're at a place called The Fat Shack, and uh, what was the name of the challenge? The Fat Sandwich Challenge. How much does it cost? 50 bucks. But if you finish it inside 30 minutes, you get it free and you get a t-shirt? Awesome. Are they all the same sandwich or different sandwiches? They're exactly the same, but different sauces on it. Ah, right, okay, I see. Ready, set, go. Don't want to eat the paper. Yeah, the tactical foundation of any successful eating challenge attempt, refrain from eating paper. What's up, Benami? Welcome back to another episode, the third instalment in this particular expedition. And today we're at Fat Shack, which is in a place called Norman. A literal, quite literal, in fact, stone's throw away from the University of Oklahoma campus, which apparently esteemed character actor Ed Harris went to. Fun fact for you there. This is going to be disgusting to watch. I warn you. You'll be waking up in cold sweats tonight like, oh, what did I just see? <laughs> Yeah, or expunge this whole ordeal from my memory as soon as it's over. Which is gonna take some time actually, because this is a lot more formidable than it might at first appear to be. It might be a good idea to just um, pull this back a little bit. Yeah, I mean, common sense. The frame doesn't look as nice now, but it might save the table because these sandwiches are all but impossible to eat without making a mess and you've got to eat three of them inside half an hour to get the win, a free meal, and a shirt. And apparently, each sandwich weighs two pounds, which at first, I was a bit skeptical of, but once I picked up the first half, I quickly realized that the waitress was not telling porkies, they are dense, and they, each sandwich has the same basic filling, but they put a different sauce on each one. Is that, um, is that considered finished? Yeah? How long have I been going, do you know? 24 minutes left. Oh, these are some... I don't think I've ever seen a sandwich this tightly packed, you know? They don't look like they're that big, but they're hefty. Do you know what, what, what's the sauce on this one? Uh, honey jalapeno mustard. Honey jalapeno mustard. Does that mean it's spicy? It's sort of spicy, but not really. Okay. Sort of spicy, but not really. Enlightening. Fortunately, the sauce was not very spicy, but it was different, which at least gives you, you know, a, a bit of a flavor change up with each new sandwich. <sighs> I think that's technically halfway. <sighs> Precisely halfway, in fact, old boy. 1.5 sandwiches down. 1.5 to go, and this is starting to feel like some hard work now. I have to say the sandwiches were good. You have to eat three of their fat sandwiches, which uh, pretty much include most of the toppings you'll find on the rest of their sandwich menu, just all in one sandwich. But they are stodgy, and uh, they don't go down easy. In contrast to the challenge I did 
last week at Kendall's. Man, that was great. I'm finding it hard to let that go, actually. I might do it again before I go home. No, I'm joking. <laughs> that would be over the top. It almost feels unfair, by contrast, to talk about the, the, the taste of this one. It tastes good, uh, just not quite as stunning. How long do I have left? 17 minutes left. Huh? If it weren't like that, that would be that would be good. I think I just about figured out how to actually eat them without them, you know, falling apart. I think. What's the uh, the sauce on this one? Marinara sauce. So it should be nice and soggy. Soggy in a nice way, you know, easy to eat. I didn't figure it out. <laughs> you bum. We're down to the last sandwich now, thankfully. I'm pounding the liquid though. I don't know, chips inside a sandwich? Should be a crime if you ask me. They soak up all the juice and stuff. <sighs> this is hard work. <sighs> I don't want. I'm trying to avoid eating the paper. I'll eat the paper if I have to, but um, I want to limit that as much as I can. Thirteen minutes left. Ooh, just past the halfway mark. Apparently the, the only dude to have done it here a few months back did it in 21 minutes, so we gotta come in under that, surely. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you at the next one. Alright. Is that good? Yeah? <sighs> Man, those things are like some kind of quantum Anomaly? Like, I don't understand how a sandwich that small can be that heavy. How's my beard look? Is it a mess? You can say it is a mess. Oh, yeah. I thought it would be. Those are some messy sandwiches. That's that's a good one. I like it. Thank you very much. Root beer on tap. Bob Ross on the TV. My kind of place. I might just sit here all day. I don't really want to get up for a while, actually. Oh, I can't eat in this heat. It's too much. <laughs> Getting slow in my old age. Wrong side. What what timing? Hear that? Came in the door and they played the good, the bad and the ugly soundtrack. <laughs> 